Good morning, State Road students, staff, and families. Welcome to this week's virtual announcements. This is Mr. Teeman coming at you on Tuesday, September 8th. We sure hope everyone had a fantastic Labor Day weekend. Enjoy those four days off, beautiful weather. Uh, but we're going to get started here, obviously, each week with the pledge. So if we can please rise and face the flag. We're going to place our right hand over our heart as we begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And today, I will be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and do my personal best. All right, looking at the weather for the week. It looks a little, maybe, what, 30% chance of rain showers. It's real blurry today. Um, 76 a couple of days, then dropping right into the, the the high 60s, actually, for a couple of days this week. Looks like looks like a beautiful week, though. A little cooler. It's going to feel great this week. Plenty of chance to get outside, do some activities, uh, do your gym lesson, your PE lesson out there. Uh, a lot of opportunities to get outside and play. All right. We talked about this last week. I'm going to leave it up here for one more week because next week begins our first lesson of the uh, official kickoff of the Positivity Project, and that is going to talk all about how other people matter. I'll briefly touch on that, but the lessons will occur in your classrooms with your teachers. So we're super excited about that. But please don't forget the new hashtag, Positivity in Action. We're super excited about that. Um, so if that if you see some some of your children or the the kids in your neighborhood, if you see them doing something positive for for you, for your family, for their community, take a picture, post it on uh, the State Road page, tag or hashtag positivity in action. We would love to see how our students are using their character strengths to stress how other people matter by taking action and making a difference. And again, it can happen right there in your home. It can happen in your neighborhood or out in the community. Positivity in action. Use that hashtag. We can't wait to see what's going on with our kids. Uh, talking about where we're now just starting week three, uh, week two of curriculum, but week three in school already. And we have been doing a really good job of getting some great feedback from teachers on how we are uh, participating and being actively engaged in our Google Meet or our Zoom classroom. So that's when we're live with the teacher. Uh, but we want to make sure that we still follow these expectations, being quiet, being on time, muting yourself, that we're participating when it's uh, when it's appropriate. Uh, and really, most impor importantly, that we're respectful. We're respectful of the teacher during her lesson. We're respectful of other students as they are talking. And part of that is how you are behaving on camera. Uh, that does not mean just because you're muted, it doesn't mean you get to act silly on camera and make funny faces or do goofy things. Uh, it doesn't mean if the teachers, if you know there's a couple minutes left in the lesson that you just say bye and close up, you should be respectful of the entire time that your teacher is sharing information with you. Uh, and Almost all of our students are doing a fantastic job, and I couldn't be prouder of all of you for that. Sometimes we make a bad choice. Sometimes we might make a mistake, and we get a little goofy or silly. Uh, and and you might just have the the teacher might just correct you or send you a private message. Uh, but if the teacher is becoming frustrated, they may ask you to turn your camera off. That's so because the rest of the class shouldn't see what it is you're doing. You you have not. Uh, made a good choice, you're not being respectful, they may ask you to turn your camera off so that we don't have to be distracted by that. If that doesn't help, they may have a conversation with mom or dad. They may ask me to have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with you. So we would be live talking to each other and going over some of those expectations. But another great way to learn what those expectations are is to listen to me. Listen to me read A Little Spot Learns Online in a real silly voice. And again, it's all about how this virtual classroom world, what our expectations are. So again, that's going to be in the slide deck. I posted it to Facebook. Uh, fun little four and a half minute video on classroom expectations read by yours truly. 
All right. Another thing I want to talk about is how we can use, and again, we as parents, as staff members, and students all possess all 24 character strengths from the Positivity Project. And another form of how we use that is through uh, what's called a growth mindset. Growth mindset is being open-minded. It's being able to um, listen and learn and accept new ideas, new challenges, um, new situations, and know that I can try that. I might not, I might not uh, succeed every time. I might fail many times. Fail sometimes is the first attempt in learning, but I have an open mind and optimism to attempt something new. So sometimes that fixed mindset, we're stuck, we're stagnant. We don't believe that uh, we can make a difference. We don't believe that we can learn new things. Uh, sometimes that leads to frustration. So, you know, and we've seen that. This is a very, very difficult time that we're all in and we're all experiencing frustrations of one form or another. But if we have a fixed mindset, we might do something that we might later regret. We might fire off a real nasty post on social media. But is that going to solve the problem? Instead, call us, send us an email. Uh, to me or your teachers, send a help desk to the technology, support people that we have in place so that we can work together as a team toward a solution. Some other fixed mindsets are saying either my child can't do this, this work is too hard, or the student, your child may say, mom, this is too hard, dad, I can't do this. One of the best words that you can add to the end of their sentence is the word yet. It's a powerful, powerful word, and you, it's just one word. But when somebody says, I can't do, whenever they finish saying that, say, yet. I can't make this basket. I can't take this big ball and shoot it into that hoop. Yet. I can't do these math problems. They're too hard. Yet. I can't read this book. It's too long. Yet. They might not be able to do that that day, but if they are practicing and have that growth mindset that I can do this, I can't do it today, but I know that I can do it in the future, but I have to keep practicing. I have to keep improving at my skills, at my knowledge, at what I'm learning so that I can one day achieve that. Okay, so again, this type of learning is too hard, or maybe I know even though it's hard, one day it's going to help me, even though it's difficult now. So we think about those fixed first growth mindsets. Avoid challenges, gives up easily, or maybe we're going to embrace challengers. We're going to persevere through the, through the faces of failure. Uh, we might be disappointed as a student or a parent in some of our learning platforms, especially when, we, when the, the technology sometimes doesn't work for us. But if we change that mindset to a growth mindset and realize we're still so grateful for the way that our teachers and staff have been able to adapt so remarkably quickly and provide other options for your students until that technology becomes available and works correctly. All right. And again, figuring things out versus uh, or not being able to figure things out and saying, I can't do it. Work together as a team. Use that word yet at the end of those I can't statements. And you will, you and your children will, will begin to focus on what a growth mindset is. And, and it will, it will truly begin to change the positive attitudes and mindset that we have. It's a fantastic, fantastic program. All right. This is just a, a quick slide for some of those growth mindset mantras for just our parents as we start this new school year. I won't read them all. They're all right there for you. But uh, I think that middle one, everything is figure outable. Uh, we might not have it all figured out right now, but we will get there and we will support everyone along the way so that it is figure outable and because together we can do hard things. Again, when we talk about school, we talk about learning. And when we say, I can't learn this or I don't know this, that's, the, that's probably the best thing that a child can say. I don't know this. That's why they're here in school, to learn new things. So you should never give up when you say, I can't, I don't know this or I can't learn this because that's what we're here to teach you. 
We're here to help you figure those things out, to learn new material, to understand new things, and then how to problem solve and figure out things for yourself. Fantastic uh, opportunities here. All right, talking about teamwork and family, is we wanna make sure, and I sent an email to our virtual academy students and parents uh, just last week, everyone, whether you're a Tiger Virtual Academy student or a face-to-face, or you are still part of the State Road family. And we wanna make sure that you all understand that. You're still gonna be uh, actively involved in the things that we do in our announcements and videos and other, uh, uh, other events that we may have throughout the year. So please know that you're all part of the State Road family. And one of the things that I sent out last week was this Walk Across America. We're super excited for uh, Ms. Slaughter, our PE teacher, to introduce this and bring this to State Road. We are going to attempt by grade level or group uh, to walk across America, and it is a race. You can see these cars up here. We're all labeled. We're all starting right there in our home capital of Lansing, Michigan, and we are going to exercise across America. So whatever that might look like, there's information that was sent in your email. It's uh, face-to-face. It's in your Google Classrooms. Tiger Virtual, it was sent by email, but they can log whatever form of exercise that they have done and convert that into miles. So if you have an app, it's it's kind of easy, like your your uh, iPhone app or your your Map My Run. There's different different things that you can use. But again, our younger kids aren't going to have those things. You can basically use the formula of 20 minutes of exercise equals a mile of walking. So if, you're, if your child is outside and they're playing in the yard for an hour, that's three miles that they can log towards the, the support of their grade level team walking across America. So really excited about this. Can't wait to see all of these tr- cars traveling all across the country, hitting all 50 state capitals on our way back to Lansing to see who can compete or complete this challenge. All right, a couple new things. We'll, we'll quickly fly through the rest of these slides, but did want to announce brand new, just hot off the press from the state is that there is actually now a waiver that all children are free for lunch, that lunch breakfast program. Uh, we're excited about this. So if you uh, are interested in our breakfast and lunch program, please use these links. You'll, you'll go here to the waiver that also will have the form at the bottom for the location where you want to pick up your food. Because again, there's only three locations now this fall. Um, State Road is not one of them. So make sure you pick the one maybe that's closest to where you live. Uh, and then you do still pre-select the meals that you want for the week. So uh, check that out, complete that that waiver so that you can uh, have those meals and now that they are free, which we're excited about for all children. All right, and again, this is just information. There's some uh, videos here on the technology, but it's again that form right there. That is our technology support help desk system for parents and students. You have issues with Chromebooks, with passwords, with logging in, uh, with uh, you know a setting that might not be correct when you're trying to get on Zoom. Use that tell that tech help desk first, and it will certainly help. Uh, provide answers for your questions. All right, mark your calendars. Uh, the only thing we have really upcoming for September besides school is uh, no school on Friday, September 18th. So that's not this Friday, that's next Friday, September 18th. Our teachers will be in professional development that day. Uh, and so there won't be any new lessons or content uh, for students to do on Friday, September 18th. Um, before I move into a final slide, I want to bring over a friend of mine that I said would be on one of these videos. He was actually just taking a nap. Let me get him up here. I know everybody misses Buddy, and Buddy misses everybody, so I want to say hi. Say hi, Buddy. He's he's really furry right now. He's going to the groomer next week to get his school hair cut, and so maybe I'll bring him on next week, and you can see what he looks like then. But Buddy's here at school the last couple of days, but he certainly misses all of the boys and girls walking around the hallway. He can't wait till we're all back here safe, face to face, and being able to greet you at the door and, and um, say hi to you. So Buddy misses you. I miss everybody. Don't forget that you do have, if you do have questions, go to the Fenton website's return to school plan. 
We will be back here next Monday, September 14th. Have a great week.